Where is our super special awesome letter going to? So what's up guys, Fox in here. The destination of Mr. Kruger's letter has gotten a lot of attention from you guys. I gave a few quick predictions in my chapter 97 review. Let's now go ahead and delve into this. Here's my top 5 candidates for Aaron's love letter. Make sure to leave your top 3 or 5 predictions down below too. Number 1, Reiner. This big guy has been shown to be extremely depressed and really at the end of a cliff in this chapter. Aaron should have gotten access to either his father's or Kruger's past memories over these 4 years. You already saw in this chapter how Aaron seemed a lot more mature and perhaps hardened. Also, think back to that interaction between him and Reiner in the Titan Forest. Like you and me, Aaron should now have a lot more context to what was going on in Reiner's head at that time. It is also possible that Aaron could have been gathering more info from the Eldians inside the internment camp too. Hell, Aaron might have even ran into Reiner from afar. The point is, either Aaron alone, or perhaps after discussing it with others, now sees a way of persuading and gathering an old armored buddy. Right now that Reiner is at his lowest, it'd be the perfect time for Aaron to extend an olive branch to him. Reiner currently is really only living to help out Gabby and the other kids. If you offer him a good plan, I don't think convincing him would be too difficult. Either way, the interaction between Reiner and Aaron after 4 years alone is going to be quite interesting. There is one thing that makes me doubt this though. It's just what address is going to be on that letter. If it is Reiner's, Falco should instantly recognize it. So that'd be a huge issue. Number 2, Zeke. If that love letter really is going to Zeke, I do hope that they thought this out. Revealing themselves alone would put everyone in danger. Zeke already was suggesting for Marley to head over to Paradise Island to get the coordinate. Eren could possibly be delivering it on a golden pillow. I give that a 50% chance of it happening. But let's look at this more. Zeke is supposed to be extremely intelligent, and you've seen that he's clearly hiding something. Just what are you up to Zeke? Zeke previously mentioned to Eren about how he would save him. He could have been lying at that moment. But I got a feeling that Zeke was actually being genuine. Bringing back your half-brother and then having someone eat him? That'd be the complete opposite of what he said. So, the other 50% shot would be Zeke would actually decide to work with Eren. And just a good thing too that this is a much older, mature Eren compared to before. Otherwise, I couldn't see this working out at all. By the way, the issue of Zeke's name being on the address does exist here too. I guess there's also the question of how Eren would even know Zeke's address. So just keep that in mind. Number 3, Mikasa, Levi, Hanji, Armin, and the Horse. Alright, so I've seen a lot of you mention how you want this to be a trigger for Armin to go colossal titan on their ass. It would just give them a taste of their own medicine. And honestly, that would be fun to see, just for them to get some revenge. But I do think there's like zero chance of this happening. Assuming Mikasa and the others are there, they should be aware of the other Eldian's horrible situation. They also do know about the supposed devils that history claims them to be. Besides, even if they all agree to it, I can't see Armin from 4 years agreeing to do anything like that. Although who knows, I'm not sure how much darker Armin has become, and not to mention taller. Anyway, I do think that Hanji and the others have been sneaking around, but I don't think they're inside Marley. Hanji could have docked one of the ships they stole in a nation right outside of Marley. At this time, they could be trying to gather allies. Eren's letter to them would then confirm the state of Marley and the imprisoned Eldians. Let's just hope that Marty has an amazing post of service. Number 4, Annie's father. You know that I really want to see Annie out of that crystal. And if you see my theory video on it, I do believe that she's been out for quite some time. This could in fact be a letter from Annie to her father, just letting him know that she's still alive. This could have been a condition from Annie in order for her to help out the Paradise Island people. It is true that she's killed a ton directly and indirectly, but her situation is similar to Reiner and Hanji should be aware of why they did what they did. Just keep in mind that a letter to her father could put all of them at risk. Hopefully the plan is for him to meet them somewhere for them to rescue him. The grand escape from Marley may show us the attack and female titan versus the beast and armored titan. Number 5, Mr. and Mrs. Jaeger. Since there's been a lot of talk about family, there's always Eren and Zeke's grandparents. There is a chance they could get some valuable information from them. These are the grandparents that raised Grisha and should have known Dina. After Grisha and the group got caught, they should have gotten in question and perhaps given some info from the Marley government. There's also the important fact that they did raise Zeke after his betrayal. Perhaps they could give some insight into Zeke, what makes him do what he does. Honestly though, the possibility of this one out of the other ones seems to be the lowest. But anyway, what's more important are your own thoughts. After seeing this breakdown, 
Who do you see receiving Eren's love letter? Perhaps the next chapter is just going to end with Zeke reading, Winter is coming. But really, this is Attack on Titan. Watch the Marley government or the Tybar family get it first. As always, be sure and give this a colossal thumbs up and subscribe, especially if you enjoy these Attack on Titan theory videos. If you're looking for more stuff to watch, check out my past video on Annie and Mikasa, and I'll see you guys later.